this uh, research project is to evaluate uh, feeding yeast to uh, growing and finishing cattle, uh, feedlot animals, and the whole objective is to compare the average daily gain animal performance and also the body composition of these animals and efficiency of these animals. So the yeast that we are feeding to these animals is uh, very similar to the yeast that we use uh, when we're making bread. Uh, here we're feeding yeast to these animals to improve the rumen health of these animals and also to improve uh, production of uh, what we call volatile fatty acids. Uh, in essence, we're looking for increasing uh, propionate production in the rumen of these animals, which will increase animal performance uh, of these animals during the, the finishing and the growing phase of these animals. So right now, we're uh, measuring uh, carcass composition of these animals and we're using ultrasound for that. And we're also taking a body measurements. We call it biometrics, physical measurements of the body of this animal so we can correlate the size of these animals, body size of these animals with uh, composition of uh, carcass and uh, later on we want to compare with the composition of the body of these animals in terms of fat and protein composition. So what we're trying to achieve here is trying to understand the actual total body volume and we have a weight when we have a volume and a weight in the surface area we can calculate the animal's density and by knowing the density we can understand the composition of the animal how much muscle to fat we're dealing with and the reason we want to do this is so that we can develop these prediction models that uh, feedlots can use whenever animals arrive and you can sort animals based on body composition rather than weight and physical type. And that way you can feed a more homogeneous pen and then you can more accurately uh, determine days on feed and the car carcass composition of those animals at a certain time uh, of feeding. And so right now we're going to take the hook to pen width, 42 and a half. And if you can think of the, bot, the carcass of the animal, the actual carcass area, you can think of it as a cylinder. What we're trying to do is measure what's contained in that cylinder. 24. So today we're just taking a few of the measurements that we'll take. Uh, we have to run these cattle through again for another measurement and we'll take the rest, the rest of the body measurements then. Okay, so we're going to find the 13th rib of the animal here and then we're going to clip between the 13th and then the 12th rib. We're going to also take a strip between the first lumbar here and we're going to take a strip on the side here so we can get a, a marbling image. So the first one is here. So after we clip, we use a curry comb to kind of get some of the debris out so the image can get a little clear. And we're going to put vegetable oil first here between the 12th and the 13th. And then we're going to put also a longitudinal side here. And then we're going to take one here, take a, a kidney fat image. Then we're going to the rump and find a pin. We're going to put it here too. Since this is the easiest image to collect, so we're going to put the oil later. And then we're going to um, Put the probe in the longitudinal way here, and we're going to collect 
a rump fat image, okay? And then we're gonna save on the computer. After I get the rump fat, I get the a cross-sectional image between the 12th and the 13th rib where we measure the longissimus muscle area and also the back fat, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna take four longitudinal images between the 12th and the 13th rib, which is where we measure the marbling or intramuscular fat of these animals, okay? And we take four so we can decrease the variation in the images, okay? Okay. Okay. And then the last image that we're taking on these animals is an image between the 13th rib and the first lumbar. It's a uh, it's a technique that we developed here at Texas A&M when I was working on my PhD here with Dr. Tedeschi. And we take an image between the first lumbar and the 13th rib to measure the kidney depth of the animal. And that kidney depth. Uh, we can calculate the total internal fat of the animal. So it's a pretty unique uh, research technique that we have with this type of equipment here. Done.